Welcome to Right to Top. I'm Adam. In today's video, I want to talk to you about the word other and its different forms, you know, another, the other, others, etc. And a few expressions that use this word. And the reason that it's very important to understand how, what this word means and how to use it is because, first of all, it is very commonly misused. Okay. And the problem with that is that it can make a reading very confusing to a reader. Now, in spoken English, you can clarify your meaning right away, but in written English, the word other, the other, others, etc., can make it very confusing to a reader if he or she doesn't know what to associate with this word. And that's the key to this word. There's always going to be at least two things that are related by this word. So the words we're going to look at are other, others, the other, the others, another, no other, for the negative form. And some of the expressions are the other with a capital O, and you'll understand why it has a capital, other than or other than by, otherwise each other, one another, the other day, the other night, every other. Okay, so let's get started with other as a general meaning. What does this word mean? The first thing you have to remember about other, there are always two or more items involved in the context, in the sentence, in the paragraph. It could be people, it could be things, it could be ideas, places, any noun, basically, that you're talking about two separate ones or more than two, okay? Now, it's very important to understand that there's more than two because we're always talking about a difference, so point two. It always involves a difference or a separateness from or a distinction from or an addition to something that was clearly mentioned before. Now, it's very important to understand, clearly mentioned previously, it means that I know what you are differentiating from. I know what you're adding to. Something came before, and now the other part or the other aspect or the other reason, the other cause, the other person comes next. If you only tell me about the other without telling me the first, it can be very confusing. You'll understand more when you see some uh, sample sentences. Now, we can, we can use the word other or another form by itself. But when we do this, it has to be very clear what the first one was. It's basically implied. I don't need to mention it. I don't need to write it. But the reader must clearly understand it was there or it is there, etc. Again, all this is theory. Let's get into the practice. Okay, so we're going to look at other and the other. Right away, what do you notice the difference is? The word the. What does the do as an article, like with any other situation when we use articles, the definite article? It makes it definite, of course. So, other and the other can both be adjectives or pronouns, okay? As an adjective, well, let's look at other first. It is followed by a plural noun. You're never going to say other singular. Always going to be other plural because you're going to be talking about one of many possible others, okay? It's indefinite means it's not one specific one, and that's the it. That, that's the end of it. It's one, but there could be many more, okay? And that's why we're talking about one of the many, okay? Of a potential many. The main contributor to air pollution is vehicle emissions. Other causes include, now other causes means other than the main contributor. We have the main, and now we have other. How many others? We don't know. But what we're gonna talk about in the rest of this sentence is just one other. In the following sentence, we can talk about one more. But what other causes include? One, two, three, four, one, two, five, ten, many. Okay? Other causes. Now, when we talk about the other, we're talking about the second of only two things. Okay? It's a definite other. If I say one, then the other, there's only one other one. No possibility for any more than one. Okay? It can be followed by a singular or a plural. If you're talking about groups, then the other people in the group. You can take the group and split it into individuals, okay? Scientists have focused on two main causes of air pollution. One is vehicle emissions. So right away, we know we're looking for two. One is vehicle emissions. The other, there's only one more, so it's the other one. The one is not necessary. It's understood because I have the other uh, leading factor. So factor is the noun. I can say, and the other one is. 
So you can use one, you can use the actual noun. Now, keep in mind, I don't like to use the same word twice. I don't like to use contributor and twice, so I use causes. And I don't like to use causes twice, so I use factor. Okay, but that's a whole other thing. Just make sure, the other, only two. Other, one of potential many. Now, as a pronoun, the other as a pronoun without the is very rare. You have some expressions like for some reason or other. For some reason or other means for whatever reason. So that's usually pretty much the only case you're going to use other in written English. In spoken, you can talk about uh, one other when we're talking about a particular person supposed to come or another person. Uh, the other is very commonly used as a pro pronoun. One, we're talking about scientists. One is car emissions and the other is. Now, the other, in this case, we're talking about a sentence just above it, the other cause. Okay, so two causes. One is vehicle emissions, the other. Because there's only two, we know what we're talking about, two things, causes, causes, cause, causes. Okay, let's go on to others and the others. So again, similar idea. We're talking about indefinite and we're talking about definite. Now, the difference here, and you'll notice, is that it's only used as pronouns, never as adjectives. You can't use others noun, the others noun. These are the nouns. These are standing in place for what was mentioned before. Some people believe A, while others believe B. Others means other people. Okay, it goes back to the first thing. Which other people? I don't know. General other people. 75% of respondents agreed, while the others were split between disagreement and ambivalence. So here, if we go look at the top, it means those remaining. So those not included in the first batch. So if 75% of respondents agreed, respondents are people, the others means the other 25%. And they were split between disagreement and ambivalence. If you want to get more detailed, you can say 15% were disagreed and 10% were ambivalent to whatever the survey was asking about. But the others is plural, the remaining from the first batch. Okay, let's move on to another and no other, okay? Another, again, could be an adjective, could be a pronoun. So it could be used with a noun or by itself. It's indefinite. It means, again, one more or one other of many possible. Other, mostly used as an adjective other reasons and followed by a plural another is followed by a singular okay it's an other so it's again it's still the article an versus the article the or versus no article but we don't have it as two separate words very important to remember another always one word if you write an other as two words it's a mistake okay so it's an indefinite it's one other so it's followed by a singular uh, when the student raised his hand to ask another question, the teacher pretended he couldn't see him. So obviously, what do we understand? Do we know about any other questions? No. But we can understand here that another question means he's already asked a few before. When the student raised his hand to ask another question, right away the reader understands that he had already asked some before. And this is just one more of however many questions there were. There are several possible solutions. One is A and another is B. Here we use it as a pronoun. And another solution. One is A and another solution is B. But it's very, very clear that the another refers to another solution. If it's very clear, get rid of the noun and use it as a pronoun in its place. Okay? If you say one other, now it's a very big difference between another and one other. Another means one of potential many. One other means one more, no more than one. Another, one of many possible. One other mean, means one more. When the student raised his hand to ask one more question or one other question, the teacher pretended. So if the student wants to ask one other question, it means only one and then he or she is finished. Okay? Or him, so it's he. Uh, no other. So when we want to use the negative, Basically, it means none except for the first mention, right? So no other means there's no more besides the one that was mentioned previously. And again, it has to be very clear. When the teacher saw that the students had no other questions, means they asked their questions before, now there are no more, he dismissed them. Okay, you can go home now. Okay, so no other questions means 
none apart from those already mentioned or those already understood to have been mentioned. Only five children were at Lisa's party. No others had been invited. So b besides or except for the five that are there, no more were invited. Okay, no others. Pronoun, adjective. The first one is an adjective, no other questions. Second one is a pronoun. It could be used as both. Now, if you want to say not any others, we use this with an indefinite. Uh, since there are no other, since there are no other questions, if no one has any other questions, now the no goes with a no one has, or do not have any questions, etc. We use it with a negative. We use it with a questions. Do you have any other questions, or are there any others, etc. Any others? Question. Not any negative. Okay. Let's move on to some examples where you'll see where problems can arise. Okay. There are several important obligations a company has to its employees, chief among which is job security. Of course, other obligations are no less important, but without job security, those become irrelevant. So those, those obligations, other obligations, we're talking about several important obligations. One, job security, other among many are no less important. Now, what happens if you write, of course, others are no less important. Now, most people will probably understand that others refers to other obligations, but there is the possibility that some people might be confused, okay? Of course, others are no less important. So this, what could this refer to? It could refer to the obligations, but well, it could also be about the employees or a company has uh, obligations to its employees. So others are no less important. Well, not only employees, but investors are no less important. Other people associated with the company. So again, we have investors, we have customers, we have media relations, etc. So all of these people are important. So the company has to focus on them, right? But without job security, oh, okay, we're back to obligations. So if it's not very, very clear what the other refers to, make it clear. Put in the noun so that the reader doesn't have to uh, go back or stumble as he goes to the next idea. Uh, just a quick use of the other, the other. Stacy will take one car and Bill will take the other. What do we understand here? There are two cars only. Stacy will take one, Bill will take the other. There are no more cars. Stacy will take one car and Bill will take the other car. Both okay. If you want to use the pronoun and it's clear, okay. If you want to use the adjective and it's clear, that's fine too. Stacy will take one car and Bill will deal with the other cars. Now, this sentence is fine, but what must the reader already know before this sentence? The reader must know how many other cars there are or the fact that they have more than two cars. Okay? If you give me this sentence without making it clear uh, prior to this that they have more than two cars, this could be a little bit confusing. Like, oh, which other cars? Okay? And the same with the noun or pronoun. Let's look at this uh, sentence, these two sentences. Only some of the students brought a lunch with them on the trip. So the bus driver had to make a stop at McDonald's for the other ones to buy something. Now here I'm using ones. What does ones refer to? Students. Okay. Because some of the students, the other ones. The ones directs is the pronoun for students, a very clear relationship. But... Only some of the students brought a lunch with them on the trip, so the bus driver had to make a stop at McDonald's for the others to buy something. Okay, well, does the others mean students, the other students? Probably. But how can a reader get confused here? There's probably other people besides students on the bus. There's teachers. There may be parents volunteering to help out with the field trip. There's the bus driver himself or herself, maybe has an assistant. So the others could refer to other people besides the students. If you want the reader to understand they're stopping for the other students, say the other students or the other ones. If you say it's the others, it could be other people besides just the students. So you see where clarity plays a very important role in how you use these words and why you use these words. The meeting resulted in good ideas being proposed when the chair saw that no one had other questions to offer. He adjourned the meeting. He stopped the meeting. Uh, no one had other suggestions, okay? Or that no one had others to offer. Others, very clear, because it can only be associated with ideas. There's nothing else to offer in the sentence besides ideas. 
that no one had any others, again, ideas or any other suggestions, etc. Let's look at the last sentence. The food bank is in dire need of tuna cans, but of course we will gladly accept all other donations. Good. Other donations means separate from or different from tuna cans. We will accept them. But if you say we will glad gladly accept all others, now others, there's nothing to refer to other than what, right? So we will gladly accept all others, like other tuna cans? Well, that's the same thing, no? There's no differentiation. So if, yeah, if I just say others, it's very confusing because I don't know what the others refer to. It's obviously not tuna cans, but I don't know what else it might be. Don't expect the reader to guess your meaning, to guess donations. Don't assume anything about your reader. Give him or her everything they need to understand what you're writing, okay? Uh, no other candidate came even close to receiving the number of votes Jessica had, so she got the most. Nobody else came even close, no other candidate. Once the program has accepted its quota of applicants, no others will be considered. Others mean applicants. The quota has been filled and the committee will not consider any other, so not any other, okay? Or the quota has been filled and the committee will consider no other candidates, both okay. The not, be careful, the not goes with the verb, not with the other. If you don't want to put the not with the verb, then put no with the other. Okay, and take out the any, of course. Okay, uh, let's move on. Okay, so here's a, the key. This is where I want you to concentrate the most because this is where it makes a big difference in writing. We have identified two key reasons for the experiment's failure. One was human error, while the other was a technical glitch. Totally okay sentence. Before, I mentioned there are two. One, the other. Very clear. I can use pronoun and pronoun. We have identified two key reasons for the experiment's failure. In both of these samples, notice there's a colon. When you have a colon, you're about to introduce the list of explaining what just came before the colon. One was that the technician did not account for the moisture in the air, thus it was partly human error. The other was that the thermostat's calibration was not correct, and we can only figure it was a technical glitch. Again, I've already mentioned that there are going to be two reasons. I put a colon to tell you I'm going to list them. One, and then the other one, the other. Look at the last sentence, and this is where people make mistakes. One reason the experiment failed was that the thermostat's calibration was not correct, and after looking for causes, we can only figure it was a uh, technical glitch. We have since recalibrated it, and we'll try again. The other reason was that the technician did not account for the moisture, etc. If I write only the other, then the reader is saying the other what? Because you didn't tell me there's two reasons. You said one reason. Now, the other doesn't necessarily go back to the first. They are too far apart. One reason and the other too far apart. Too many other nouns between them. The other what? The other experiment? The other glitch? The other thermostat? Etc. We don't know what it is. So you must reintroduce the subject, the noun, reason. The other reason. So right away I, I understand there's only two reasons. Another reason means that there are probably a few more, but these are the two main ones you want to discuss, right? Another reason, I don't know how many more there are, but you're going to talk about one more for now. Okay, so though that's very important. If they're too far apart, we introduce the subject. Let's talk about some of these expressions. Okay, the other with a capital O. When we talk about the other, we mean separate, different from us, not I, not we, not us, them, okay? So the other, the other person. That's why we put a capital on it, because it refers to a person or a group that's separate from us. Some communities only adapt a sense of identity as an opposition to the other. So who are we? Well, we are not them. Okay? Okay, so let's talk about each other and one another. We, basically, these are reciprocal nouns, meaning you do one action to one person, the other person does the action back to you equally. Okay? Reciprocal. Technically, each other is meant for two people. They do something to each other. One another is technically for three or more people. Now, these days, people mix these up, okay? If you use one or the other in any context, people will understand you. Nobody will even notice what there's a difference, right? If you want to be correct, each other two, one another three or more. But don't worry too much about it. Jane and Kai love each other. Jane and Kai love one another. 
the group of friends promise to always keep in touch with each other, one another after college. All of them are okay. If you want to be super correct, each other two, one another three or more. Every other means you skip one. So every second, okay? So one yes, one no, one yes, one no. Uh, every second week, every second year, whatever. Neil sees his children every other weekend. So Neil got divorced. His wife got custody of the kids. He gets to see them every other weekend. So one weekend yes, one weekend no, one weekend yes, one weekend no. Now, what I want to, these are very important words for you now, are the words otherwise, or, or is the word otherwise, I should say. Otherwise is very useful as a transition word or to show some high-end vocabulary, etc. It can mean, if not, unless. Governments must tackle this problem as soon as possible. Otherwise, the situation will get worse and be harder to deal with as time goes on. So, if the government does not tackle this problem soon, the situation will get worse. Okay? The early warning system saves thousands of people each year who would otherwise die in a tornado. So, the system saves thousands of people who, if there were no system, would die in a tornado. It also means besides that, like aside from or not including that. The restaurant was very loud, but otherwise it was quite pleasant. So not, if I don't include or if besides the noise, it was quite pleasant. Or in another way, differently. The police need to find a way to stop or otherwise control the protesters. They need to stop them or find some other way to control the protesters before they cause more damage. Very useful words. Uh, get to know them, practice using them, use them in your essays. Okay. And lastly, other than means not including or making an exception. So other than Phil, I don't know who's coming. So it means I know that Phil is coming, but except for Phil, I don't know. Other than by, so it means by alternative. Usually we use this expression with a negative uh, sentence. There is no way to reach the town other than by helicopter as the snow closes the winter roads. So no way to reach it. There's only this way and no other way except for this way. Okay, so it's like an exception, but usually with a negative expression. I hope these were very useful for you. They are very important to understand and use correctly, especially in writing. The word otherwise, very good for your vocab score, if you can use that properly. Of course, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask me here below in YouTube or go to my social pages and ask all the questions you have there. And uh, remember, vocabulary, grammar, all these things are very important. I will bring you more videos about them. Please subscribe to my channel and you'll see them soon and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.